Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of day it is when this video reaches to you. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my office. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tony. I'm a full-time gig worker and a mom. And I just take you guys along with me as I work through this gig economy. I'm active on like two dozen apps. I don't use them all. But we try to stay positive and set goals and share tips and tricks. Uh, basically showing you the ins, the outs, the good, the bad, and everything in between all so that we can make that money, honey. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, definitely like this video to let YouTube's algorithms know something good is going on here. And then they will share us with more people around the world and subscribe. That would really help us out too. All right, so it is Monday. November 8th and it is currently 7 15 a.m. I am out here sitting near a Whole Foods to, in hopes that I can maybe get an instant offer because of course I don't have a block. Um, I haven't been able to get any scheduled blocks on Amazon in forever. Um, I've been doing a lot of GoPuff lately. Um, I dropped my video um, I'll link it up here just showing you like how it works it was my first day I've been doing pretty well um, <clears throat> but they don't open till 10 and I don't have anything scheduled for the whole week because I can't seem to get a schedule I have got spark on I have Instacart open as always I've got uber eats on I have Grubhub on I don't have a scheduled dash with DoorDash as of yet but I'm gonna see what I can do. So I'm just gonna go and see what apps I can turn on and what's going on and I will let you guys know when something comes okay, up. So we're gonna start our day with a curbside pickup from Walmart Spark, $15.77 for two orders going 4.3 miles. So I am headed to pick that up right now. All right, that was pretty quick. Um, literally, I parked and two minutes later, they brought out my orders. Nine minutes away for the first customer, Taliba. It is, let me see, I think this one only has 36 items in the back seat, a lot of bread and eggs. And then the other customer it has 60 items, but it's all small stuff. So um, there's no big cases of anything. So we will definitely be early, because it says drop off by 8.24 a.m and be ready to move on to the next thing. So let's deliver these groceries. <laughs> I'm driving around this apartment complex trying to find the building. It would be nice if I had gotten the building number. Well, let's see. That one I couldn't record for you because my hands were full. There was no elevator. So I had to lug the items up the stairs. And that was the smaller of the two orders. But it was difficult to find her apartment because she didn't say the building number, so she waved me down. <laughs> I found her, so very good. We are five minutes away from the next customer who has the larger items and it appears to be a house and not an apartment, so we'll see. All right, let's go get this stuff delivered. All right, next up we have a corner shop. It's only six items for like $10 and some change. And I'm four minutes away from the store and the customer is only a mile from the store. So nothing else has been going on yet. So it's a no brainer in my book. I'm gonna make a quick $10 and go on with my day. Hopefully a tip as well. So off we go to do some shopping. All right guys, I had to take a like hour and a half, mm, two hour top break just because I had severe, severe tooth pain and the ibuprofen just wasn't working. But anyways, so we're back at it. I have 
Instacart on and I'm going to turn all the food delivery apps on and Walmart and see what happens. I will let you guys know. <laughs> Alright, so as I was passing Earl of Sandwich, I got a DoorDash order going, I think it's two and a half miles, $6.50, and I have it already, and I'm on my way to Kimberly to drop it off, so literally six minutes away. Well, that was smooth and it had a hidden tip. So final payout was $8. It was a leave at door. She said, don't knock because there's a baby sleeping. And when I was two minutes away, I turned the other apps on. So sometimes they annoy you. It's that they send you orders right as you're like looking for the street to turn. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but anyways, so let's see what we get. Um, I've been getting a lot of uh, first come first serve orders through Walmart, but they're um, deals for days. Those it's something new, and I've never done one, and I've heard horror stories about them. So they can't kind of came and went fast. Whatever. Um, I do not have a shift for GoPuff, nor did I pick up any hours. I'm kind of not happy about because I, I like it. I really like it. And if it was up to me, I'd do that all day, every day, for real. And um, and I'm sure I said that about Walmart, too, <laughs> when it first started. But no. Anyways. All right. Let's see what else is out there because we want to make some money, honey. <laughs> hey, guys. It is later on in the day. It is quarter past four. I ended up doing that DoorDash order and then going home. What's this email? Strange. I just got an email from GoPuff saying they were going to change my password. But they did that already. I was locked out on Friday, I think it was. Luckily enough, I didn't have a shift. But anyways, I don't remember what I was saying. So I picked up my daughter and now here I am. I have a GoPuff shift um i'm gonna grab myself a coffee before i head there so that i can prevent having to stop i think i'm good on gas and i gotta be there at 4 30 which should be fine because i'm in the area and hopefully there's not too many people on demand to screw up the cycle and i can make good money <laughs> i totally forgot about you guys i'm sorry so i literally sat for an hour and a half with no orders whatsoever. There was four other drivers there, one of which gave up their shift, but I didn't, I couldn't grab it for some reason. And uh, so anyways, around six o'clock I got an order. Um, it's an apartment complex on the south side. I had to scan the ID because it was probably a, a puff bar because they sell puff bars. Um, Go puff, get it. <laughs> I never even thought of that till just now. Anyways, um, I got, let me see the order history. I got a $4 tip from that one. And then as soon as I got back, I got a double order right away. And the first one, uh, I didn't get any tip. It was probably kids. And the second one, I almost got my head chewed off by a dog, which never happens to me. But I didn't, thankfully, and that one's a $3.99 tip. And who knows, hopefully she'll increase it afterward because she was very thankful. I had to um, scan her ID because she just got a vape stick or a puff bar or whatever the hell you want to call them. So um, a lot of scanning IDs and I found out today that my location does not sell alcohol, which is crazy because if they sold alcohol, like they would make so much more money. But apparently when they leased out this location, they didn't check the zoning laws to find out whether or not they could actually sell alcohol from this warehouse. And apparently they can't. So they sell, they don't sell cigarettes. They sell puff bars, vape sticks, whatever you call them. And that's it. 
And I didn't realize that till just the other day. So all these times of skating IDs, I thought it was for nips or something. <laughs> Whoops. I am heading back there now. Hi guys, it is days later and I wanted to jump on here and close out the video. So I was out for about an hour, uh, give or take. And then when I went back out later on in the night for um, Go Puff, I ended up going home early because it was so slow. So I ended up working a total of like three hours, three hours and like 15 minutes. So I ended up making $27.99 with GoPuff. I made, I got a tip with Corner Shop, I made $15.35, the $8 with DoorDash, and $15.77 with Walmart Spark. So all together, I made $67.11. All right, so let's see. $67.11 divided by, we'll do divided by 3.25 just to give myself a little um, leeway. I made about $21 an hour, which is not bad. Um, I definitely wish I had made more money, but I was having a lot of headaches and jaw pain. Uh, so I had to go home. I have to take care of ourselves first. Self-care is way more important than anything else. I actually just wanted to talk about how surprising it is to me that this GoPuff location does not serve alcohol or sell alcohol, which is strange because if they did, imagine the possibilities. So uh, I am out here right now making that money, honey. So I hope you guys are doing the same thing too. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and peace out.